Hey guys, welcome to the eighth video of my series on introduction to Matplotlib. And in this video, we're going to see how do we make the plots of the curves of which we are given some equation. For example, you want to make a sine plot or a curve plot, or you are given any kind of formula like this and you want to make a plot out of it, like this bell curve, you can say. So how do you make that? So in order to do that, um, let us see what we have to do. So the first thing that we need to understand is that this particular plot that we are seeing here is nothing but a line plot where the points are at very little spaces due to which we are able to see a very perfect curve. So the most important thing is to just generate the data which can provide you a smooth curve for your equation. So now, first of all, I'm just going to import numpy library as np and now I'm going to generate some points for myself. So along the x-axis, I want to have um, the values from 0 to 2 pi, which I can just put it as 2 into np.pi, which is pi value. So 0 to 2 pi with spaces separated by 0 0.1 interval. So this is what I want to have along my x-axis. So these are the values that I have along the x-axis. And now I want to get the corresponding y-axis values for which I can directly use a numpy universal function np.sign which will provide me another numpy array containing the sign values for corresponding x-axis values like this. So now I have got a lot of points to be plotted. So now I'm ready to plot them by doing plt.plot in which I'm going to put x comma y. So let us see what happens. Look at that. We get a nice sign curve. So as you can see that it is looking quite smooth and that is happening because I've got a lot of points to be plotted and due to which the plot turns out to be quite smooth. So this is how you can plot the curve of any given equation. We can make this particular curve a bit more interesting by putting some um, horizontal line here and a vertical line here. So I take this as an opportunity to explain you how to make a horizontal and a vertical line very easily. So for that, all you have to do is plt.axh line, which will make a horizontal line for you across the axis. So for which I'm just putting y equal to zero. Let's see what happens. So look at that, I get some line here, right? So just let me just make the color of this line as black, which is K. And let me change the width of this line as well. Um, I think I can change the width of this line as well. Um, I think it should be line width. Yes, so we have a line width option here. So let me just make it line width, which is equal to, let's say, 5. So let us see what happens. Five is big, one. Yeah, so one is cool. So I got a horizontal line. Now similarly, I can make a vertical line by using axv line function and I just put x equal to zero. So look at that. Now we have some um, good looking curve. So the benefit of using axh line and axv line is that you do not need to create the data for plotting this particular line and this particular line by yourself. It directly makes your horizontal line along the given y-axis point. Like around the y is equal to zero, you make a horizontal line. So this is how you can plot a very nice curve of any given equation. Let me just change it a bit. Let me make a cos curve. So all you have to do is np.cosx. So the y-axis data has changed and now plot it. So look at that, we get a cos curve. So yeah, so this is all about curve plotting. If you still have doubts, you can put them in the comment section below. That's it from this video. Thanks for watching.